And that greedy little girl from the Goosebumps episode grew up to be the biggest piece of shit I've ever seen. No, but the girl from the Goosebumps episode eventually changed her ways in the show and got out of the curse. But apparently later on in life, she fucked up and became the YouTube personality known as Shy Curves. Okay, now look at her. She's playing with leaves and shit. She's innocent. She couldn't hurt a fly. She would do nothing wrong. Albert, why are you making a video on Shy Curves? I, I want to have sex with Shy Curves, Albert. Now, I'm going to show you a few reasons why she's a lying scumbag. And that's why I'm making the video on Shy Curves. Okay, so... Oh my god. Okay, so in this video, she basically talks about how a guy barges into Burger King and he cuts in line and then randomly grabs the cashier's shirt and just rips it and then his her mom throws soda at the dude's head and just fuck uh, the, the story is complete bullshit okay here she's uh telling the layout of the restaurant this is the restaurant it is definitely square but this is round this this is the cashier okay here is where people line up we're here don't be so hard on yourself you don't take up that much space <laughs> barges into burger king all distraught like literally like king kong like this clench like walking like this <laughs> passes us bypasses the line bypasses all that I'm picking her nose. Uh, cashier, and he's like, guys, look, I'm picking her nose. Okay, so the guy comes in, he demands some shit, and then what happens after that? Oh, I don't know, probably some extreme bullshit thing to get a little bit more views. He grabs her shirt and like, rips <laughs> her shirt. You know, we're wearing like collared shirts. Yeah, he like ripped it sideways and ripped her shirt. Ripped it sideways? Did he, how, what do you mean sideways? Did he like rip it that way? This this shit's not adding up. Are you looking at a? Is there a script there that you're looking at and you fucked up? What are you looking at? So what's my mom's first instinct to do? I'll give you a second to take some guesses. She well, if she wasn't fucking dumb, she'd probably call the cops. Whips her pop at the back of his head. Oh, there we go. That sounds real. Okay, thank you. Okay, later in the video, she says she like runs to the beauty salon next door or some shit. Then the, they call the cops. And this military guy comes out of nowhere and tackles him. And fucking, it, it's bullshit. But we'll go on to a little bit more on why we shouldn't trust Shy Curves. Alright, so some dumbass company thought it was a good idea for uh, this girl to sell waist trainers to people. Of course, Shy Curves probably knowing these things do nothing for anyone. Uh, her eyes lit up at the opportunity. And uh, she made this video. Play around with. Also, your fashion frenzy was kind enough to provide a coupon code for you guys, so that will. Be oh, how nice of them! Game a little, or you know, wear them to the gym just to add that added step to your workout routine. Just know that. Okay, I can take a lot in life. I can take mean comments. I can take people being dumb. But if somebody says, "Hey, go to the gym wearing a fucking waist trainer," I think that's a great idea. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Feast your eyes on this diet diagram right here see that gross spaghetti shit in her body um look at the picture on the right that's with the waist trainer see how like the spaghetti is all clumped up together um that's fucking bad um and if you work out like that that's like that's like hopping on the bench press asking your buddy hey can you choke my fucking neck during this set thank you sir on a side note isn't this whole channel supposed to be based around like body positivity and shit like that then you're telling people hey smash your waist into like a really tight egg roll and then go work out like that and possibly die i'm, I'm starting to not trust you shy curves Okay, guys, real talk, size discrimination is an actual, like, pretty big issue. No pun intended. An even bigger issue is when people lie about being discriminated for their size for attention. And that's exactly what this lying scumbag did in this video. Okay, so she starts explaining the situation. She's in Walmart. She's about to try on some clothes. She's looking real good. I kind of have, like, a half chub going. Right off the bat, the Walmart employee is being bitter, rude. The Walmart employee is a fucking bitch. Really, really, just had a really bad, like, vibe going on about her. Like, a really, like... Yeah, she had a bad, a bad vibe, guys. So this is what she tells me. Sorry, I'm just really confused. What were you asking me not to do? Just not, don't try to push it. First, I'd like to point out how violently she rips the clothes out of her hand, like the text says. Like, like this Walmart employee should not only be fired, she should be put in prison for the rest of her fucking life. So don't, like, I don't understand. Like, you tried to put on something that is obviously not going to fit. That's all I'm asking. I don't understand though. I uh, don't stretch it. Don't stretch yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's all right. 
I'm not trying to be impertinent or anything. Christ. Oh shit, the Walmart employee called me fat. I'm gonna ruin you, bitch. You're going on YouTube. You know what YouTube is? Well, let's just say your life's fucked. No, the, the, the Walmart employee didn't even do anything wrong. Like, like she was about to try something on that wasn't the right size. Do you know how I know this? Let's look at this fashion video that Shy Curves posted. Um, look at this. She's wearing Lululemons, which only go up to size 12. And let's just say she's a little bit more than a size 12. And you're going to tell me she doesn't wear clothes that are too small for her? Are you fucking joking me? I believe it was a men's extra large, so obviously my size, like it fit me fine. So obviously my size fit me fine. Then of course the second shy curve stops recording, the Walmart employee goes on a fucking rampage and starts discriminating against everyone. Nobody's safe, guys. And there was stuff in the change room from the person before me, and she says to me, Okay, when you're done in here, bring everything in the change room out. And I kind of looked at her like, that's your job. And I guess they appeared as though they might identify as males. I don't know them personally, so I really, I have no idea. Um, but they had women's sweaters that they'd like to try on. And she refused to let them try the sweaters on. And she said to them, I can't let you try these sweaters on because you're men and these are women's sweaters. Then you got every single major blog going crazy over this story. And the sad thing is, 90% of what Shy Curves said the Walmart employee said, Shy Curves did not record. And the thing she recorded wasn't even that bad. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, she potentially ruined this person's life because she got offended by the one thing she said in the video that she had recorded. You guys see this video of my dad? Well, you should see what happened after I stopped recording. One like on this video equals one. You're fucking discriminating against me. Stop it. Oh yeah, she also tried to go vegan for a couple weeks and then found out she has this disease and uh, stopped being vegan because of the disease. And then these YouTubers called the vegan couple exposed her for lying how it's not the disease's fault, it was her diet's fault. So anyways, my doctor wanted me to do a bunch of tests and we did the tests, I had an ultrasound. The doctor gave you an ultrasound? Did he think you were pregnant? 